Hi guys, I'm just about to nip out. I'm feeling very Beetlejuice-esque in this outfit. I think it's I think it's the black and white stripes together with everything else being black. It just makes it feel very, very Beetlejuice. It's gonna be another another mellow vlog today, but I'm in better spirits than the last one. Paramore came out with a new song yesterday and I it's it's so catchy. I listened to it once and I had it stuck in my head. That's currently playing on my Spotify. Currently have a load of recycling staring at me, so I'm gonna take that out on my way out. Quite a bit later in the day, so as soon as I get back, I probably will have to get Delilah from school. Leaves are starting to fall. These Halloween sprinkles are so cute. I think I might pick these up for Delilah and we'll do some Halloween-y bacon another time. Next week I want to have a re a rejig and sort of some of the kitchen cupboards. But I need some more storage so I'm about to pop into the shop. I've seen ah there they are. So they, they sell the jars with the orange lids that we have. They're really handy. So I've come here to buy some more. The ones we have at home I bought online. We have we have all of these sizes actually. Fun fact, this shop was actually on the show that Alan Carr presents. Great interior design show. Great British interior design. Something like that. Sorry, I'm whispering because it's very quiet in here. I have a few jars. I don't want to get too many. Um, I'd rather buy more if we need them. I have just walked through the door and the cat's back. He was asleep like this by our door the other day. You guys are gonna start thinking we have a cat and we're, and we're just keeping it secret. It must be very cushy on that step because it soaks up all the warmth from the sunshine in the day. For the past week, I have really wanted to make a pumpkin loaf. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm thinking sliced as either, as either a snack um, or for breakfast, heated up with some fruit and yogurt. Hello Pickle. Hello. I'm going to tweak the recipe ever so slightly. I'm going to, I've blended up some oats. So I've got a cup of oat flour and then I'm going to do the rest wholemeal flour. This can of pumpkin puree really needs um, using up. It goes, it's well, it's best before the 9th of this year. Um, so it's just, just within it's best before. I got a little helper. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi. Holly, Holly, Holly. Use those muscles. Give you a whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. So we need two eggs. Can I crack one egg? Yeah. Yeah, you did it. That was super easy. I only got my hands wet. <laughs> Hold it. It looks like butternut squash. <laughs> yeah, because it, it kind of is. Can you see me? One cup of pumpkin puree. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we are putting in spices. 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 <laughs> Are you also being my vlogging assistant? <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, ginger, a quarter nutmeg. Hi! Do you want to do the honours and mix? That looks really satisfying. Yeah, it is. Need a teaspoon of bicarb. Can you pop that in for me gorgeous? Some of the flour and then we're going to do the rest whole milk. Okay. Always like to add some dark chocolate and walnuts. not measured out the add-ins. I'm going to guess that that's around half a cup. 
the mixture is looking a little bit lumpy. Maybe I should have blended up the oats a bit more. Last year I bought this smaller, this smaller loaf tin. Thought it'd be perfect for well, <laughs> making smaller, smaller loaves. Although I've made the same amount of mixture as I usually do. Scrap that idea, we're going for a bigger one because this is just, this is it's actually really quite small. I'm gonna watch it to cook. Can I have a taste of the mixture from the spoon? I like it. Yeah? Cool. So I'm gonna pop this in for 55 to 60 minutes. You know, it's been a really long time since I've made banana bread or pumpkin bread. It's the first time cooking in this pan as well. Fingers crossed, we say see you in an hour. I need to get this one's dinner on. I need to tidy up this mess. You okay there? Yeah. yeah? Tomorrow morning I'm off to my friends for the weekend. So I need to get packing. I mean, it's gonna be a very relaxed weekend. So I just need to pack a couple of comfy outfits. My navy blue jumper is a must. I think we might go out for dinner one evening. So I need to think of something versatile. I don't know, I might take these. I'm gonna pack these along with Another stripy top before we're just hanging out at her house. I'm gonna pack some leggings as well. Yeah, I, I don't really know what the weather's going to be like. Seems a bit over the top, packing a suitcase for two nights. Considering last time I went, although it was just for the one night, I managed to fit everything in my backpack. It's just so much easier putting everything in the suitcase. Just not so heavy, having it all on your shoulders. Also, it's at that time of year where I need layers. I'm really looking forward to the train journey. It's only a couple of hours, but I'm gonna take my book and just sit and read my book the whole time. I miss doing long train journeys. I used to do them loads when um, Doug and I were long distance. Yeah, I did it, there's something about a, a long train journey that I love. And I'm so looking forward to spending a whole weekend just me and lucy who lots any long-term viewers will will probably have seen lucy at some point we've known each other since we were four i don't want to forget some earplugs because i can't sleep without them and um some heat defense spray but yeah i can't, I can't remember the last time we were together just for like just us just by ourselves for the whole weekend probably not not since we were maybe 19 so it's probably it's been a decade probably probably going to mooch around home sense get coffee we're gonna go to the cinema and see don't worry darling oh and my other friend her due date for her baby is well now um so i don't know whether she's going to have the baby at the weekend i don't know whether it'll be next week i don't know whether she would have had her baby by the time this vlog goes up I don't know, it's very exciting. Hoping this is enough makeup remover for two nights. I don't really want to take this one because it is bigger and it's much more full. <laughs> it's going to weigh a ton. So I can't pack much else now. Got my floss, toothpaste, because I'll leave this one here for Doug so I can pack the other one. A clean face cloth, everything else I'm gonna have to leave for the morning. Probably for the best, because I'm sure you guys didn't want to watch me pack anymore. I can't stop playing with my hair but I washed it last night and it's really fluffy. My hair felt like it needed a really good wash so I double shampooed it which I do every now and again but I actually used some of this which is so it's covered in it looks gross because it's covered in well I think it's from hard, our hard water we have very hard water here in the south. I bought this Kerastase sort of it's not called a cleansing shampoo it's a shampoo to use when you've been out in the sun I'm in the sea, swimming in a pool. It's like a salt and chlorine and sun cream um, kind of cleansing shampoo. Um, so I used a tiny bit of that, rinsed it out, and then I used my normal shampoo. And my hair feels so lovely and clean, but it's almost so clean that it's not holding the curl as well. And it's just really, it's just really fluffy, but it feels, it feels amazing. Um, anyway. <laughs> So silly. Anyway, I need to get her dinner. I just, I just swear. What time is it, Mum? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. It's half past six, and you haven't had your dinner yet. I think your pasta's almost done. 
a little bit it's a little bit burnt but let's see gorgeous i think it's it's still quite hot for the it's funny i said in the last vlog that i'd caught dogs cold and i had a sniffly nose for about a day um but nowhere near as like usually when i have a cold i'm bunged up for about two weeks mainly i've just felt tired and really achy look at us in our stripes <laughs> i'm gonna try this bread it has been on the side i've been upstairs finished it up and um, trying to finish up getting the first of October up. Still need a little bit of time, a little bit of time to um, cool down. It had about half an hour but it's, it's still, it's still really warm. Kind of tastes a bit like, um, I don't know if it tastes pumpkin spicy or whether it tastes more like Jamaican cake, like ginger cake. I have just come upstairs and from our bedroom window, look at the moon. I don't think I have ever seen such a perfect crescent moon. Look at it. Fishing rod. Yeah, fishing rod. What's that from? Dreamworks. Dreamworks, that's it. That's legit <laughs> Dreamworks moon. Are you going to let me watch Kardashian? I'll just see if Lucy will watch Sounds Kardashians nice. with me. If she's not watched it already. <laughs> I suppose I should end the vlog. We have the easiest dinner tonight. I just wanted something quick and easy. So I roasted some potatoes, everything else. We just took out the packet, plonked on the plate, got some mackerel and <laughs> a massive, massive uh, Caesar salad. I will see you this weekend. I'm trying to do it. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be the weekend. I think the weekend will be the next upload. So, um... Yeah, thanks for tuning in and I will see you then.